Hi, everybody. Hello. It has been forever since we updated you all on our adventure, and um, sorry about that. It's just been a whirlwind since, since the last update. I was just looking at the date of it, and it was the day before we set off um, to fly across the country to pick up our little shuttle bus. So, and now we are 19 days into, 20 days into, since we left home with our, into our new little shuttle bus, now we're on our adventure. So, that's been, it's been a while. So, um, and what an adventure it's been. So, <laughs> we just wanted to get on here. We've been meaning to, like I said, do an update for a while. So, here we are. Um, we, we have not forgotten about you, and, um, yeah, we think about you a lot, actually, and I really appreciate all your support. So, we're excited to share this update, even though it's kind of, um, it's just all over the place, really. It's been all the things. It has. We've gotten uh, some wonderful, beautiful support along the way. We've had some really uh, beautiful experiences along the way. We've gone to some really beautiful places. Um, so <laughs> As it's, you can see, a little low energy today. Huh? Very low energy. <laughs> um, it's We're still in the cold. Um, it's which, very cold right now. Which, um, you know, we weren't planning, but... Um, we've kind of learned that to just kind of toss the, the planning <laughs> out the window and any kind of expectation that we might have of how things are going to go can pretty much go out the window as well. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. nothing, nothing is really going to plan or, or to, um, accordingly, like even to our, well, luckily we, we were able to do the first ritual up in Seattle, our first, um, you know, we're on a pilgrimage here. We're on a, um, a sounds of the heart grief support ritual, you know, adventure, and that's the whole purpose of this. Um, and we've gotten to do one ritual. Luckily, that was lovely. We had to cancel a second one because we didn't quite make it back to uh, Portland where that was scheduled. So then we were going to try to schedule it again, and luckily we didn't because we still didn't make it to Portland um, for <laughs> yeah more things going on. So, um, but we are on. Um, we, we have not forgotten that part of our adventure, so we're just kind of settling into to what arises and trying to find our flow, if there is such a thing um, right now, or just letting go of flow, uh, or flowing, flowing in the uncertainty of it all. It's just a whole new way of life, and um, we're running into all sorts of interesting things and blessings and challenges, so, um, you know, the, it, it's... I guess I'm going to back up a little bit from when we left. I, 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 I know many of you are on Instagram, so you've been following our journey. This is kind of a different uh, platform. It's not as easy for us to upload here as we've mm -hmm. mentioned a couple of times. Um, and, and this it, is specifically for you, our supporters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally Instagram true. is pretty much for everybody and anybody who wants to follow along. Yeah, that is just an easier format to upload, so we, we upload there quite a bit. So um, partly we are, you know, running into internet issues. We don't have internet um, often, it turns out, or the internet is spotty because we're kind of out in the wilderness or out. Um, yeah, so, so that's been an actual thing. But um, but we're, oh, backing up, backing up uh, to when we went across the country um, and then driving back across, that was just really that it kind of it all started there you know really some real big um real big getting to know our vehicle and uh, running into some mechanical issues but that turned out to not be really big mechanical issues so a lot of fear coming up around um you know uh, did we do the right thing did we make a mistake by getting this vehicle um you know just a lot of a lot of fears coming up, uh, financial concerns, um, you know. Then the just the, the reality of leaving our whole life and changing everything so drastically um, that that was challenging on levels that we we couldn't even foresee. You know, it's like yes, you know, the change is coming and we're excited about it, but it really touched on some deep things that really um, really really stirred us up. You know, and had us going through through a lot, you know, together and really challenged us in our, um, relationship mm -hmm. and brought some things to, to the surface that needed to come out in order for us to move forward. So 
you know, it, it, in the moment it was really rough, but um, very important part of the process and really necessary. Very so, beneficial. Yeah, yeah, a lot of growth, a lot of growth. So And still growing. Yeah, I mean... The, it never ends. Yeah, the, the main part of this is it's a pilgrimage, you know, and we approach our entire lives as spiritual practice. So um, when we do that, you know, it we look at everything that arises as how do we work with this in a spiritual way uh, or, or for our spiritual growth how do we um, how are we being challenged what is this triggering in me what fear is this bringing up for me um, how is this pushing me beyond my comfort zone and how do I lean into that how do I work with that how do I adjust and open up my expectations how do I let go when I need to let go how do um, you know how how do we soften into it how do we connect together how do we um uh work with the situations and how do we open to the blessings you know and just receive and so even that receiving blessings turned out to be a challenge for us which is not something that we expected you know it's just like the grace and beauty of the people that we've um met and and um and just the the support we've received for you just like really taking that in and just feeling like really worthy of that turns out like that wasn't so easy you know and so we still work with that um so it's it's been it's been interesting like that you know mm -hmm. yes it has Funny. <laughs> we've been going through it the past few days so um uh the the most recent issue that we ran into it's been a couple of things um um <laughs> okay so um backing up i guess it was a, a wheel that started making noise and so we were looking at that and it was just like what's going on there and realizing like hey i think we better pull over and get this fixed sooner rather than later but i think even before that we were backing up the vehicle and ran into um a little cement pole which like totally bent the back um the back bumper down and it was just like oh my gosh how are we gonna get that fixed because we have a huge container back there that's holding important stuff yeah, it wasn't just about the bumpers it's heavy. but it's very heavy and so it was just like bouncing along it was like oh my gosh we can't continue like this yeah. we just can't because if it fell off on the freeway or on the highway anywhere real big problem not so, to mention we have a huge five gallon diesel tank sitting in there that's yeah. um supplying fuel to our diesel heater yeah which that's, that's which isn't thing. working right now <laughs> <laughs> there's that part too but that comes a little later so um so yeah with that just everything got put on hold it's like okay we have to get this fixed right now so those are the kinds of things where you just like drop everything and like that takes priority and it doesn't matter what time of day it is maybe it's in the evening maybe it's night maybe it's on the weekend maybe things are closed maybe and you're just kind of stuck there like well okay so now what now we scrap everything and this takes precedence which I mean that's life right of course that, that's just that happens regardless of where we're at and where we're living and how we're doing it but um, just a little more interesting when you have your house with you on the road and and you're living in whatever challenge might come up so so luckily we found somewhere this guy just awesome got us in immediately fixed it no fixed, problem fixed the bumper yeah. and um, was very kind and really you know gave us a wonderful price on fixing 50 bucks. it which 50 bucks, was really right? yeah. Great. really Not really good yeah. and so sent us on our way and we as soon as we were actually pulling out of there uh, we started hearing this other noise um, and we were like what is that yeah what is that noise What's you know it's like the wheel yeah 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 click 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 yeah. you know so um, but we, it, you know, at first, you know, maybe it was a stick or something kind of caught in a wheel, who knows what, but we continued and we stopped at the co-op, <laughs> I think, and we were like, what's this noise, you know, and yeah, I think I mean, you, had, you had gotten out and you were like, I hear, Wait, I really hear this yeah, noise yeah, yeah. out it's here, like where is good. it? Yeah. And... Um, and I got out and we were, we kind of 
honed in that it was coming from the back tire area, you know. So we're like, what's what's going on here? So we decided to go to a tire store, Les Schwab. Yeah, we figured it was a priority. I mean, we were gonna take off and just drive on, and it was just like, mm, yeah. you know what? We better let's let's prioritize this. Let's mm-hmm. just go to a, like the Santos. Like, let's stop at one in Portland. I'm like, mm, let's look right now, you know. And luckily, there was one pretty close to us. So so we go there. We go mm-hmm. there. They start looking at it. <laughs> and it turns out that the wheels had been put on wrong. Um, and, like, that was by me, actually. Um, we were up in Washington having um, stuff done to our van to make it more roadworthy. And one of the things that needed to be done was we needed to patch up this wheel well that's right underneath this area that we're sitting on right now because there was a huge gap in there about this about this big that was long about this long and a couple of other holes um, where water was just being if it was raining and we were driving water was just kind of coming up from the wheel and going up there and we use this area as a storage area for food and over there in a cubby we have other things and it was all just getting completely soaked and at first we didn't know what was happening and then when we got up there we realized and we were doing some investigating we realized there was a huge gap there and it needed to be filled in with um, like a putty so that it wasn't leaking anymore and to be able to do that we need to take these wheels off since I don't know anything about this type of stuff um, and I I took the wheels off and um, I did not get them back on correctly and I guess these are different than car wheels when you're on a big bus like this and there's dualies dual which is two wheels on each back side they need to be put on like a certain way and I didn't know this and um, apparently neither did the person who was working with me Um, so um, they got put on wrong and because of this when we were driving they were just going (laughs) the whole the whole time and eventually creating a huge problem where the where the little lug nuts are that hold the wheel in this long story short they told us that this was too dangerous to drive on and that we probably wouldn't even make it to Portland without it possibly falling off, (laughs) which would be, ah, and they said that they couldn't fix it because the other wheel on the opposite side was missing a post that the lug nut goes on, apparently that the, some, I don't know, but they couldn't do it because of that, so that needed to be replaced as well. Yeah. So we needed new wheels, not tires, but wheels. Which and needed to be ordered. Which needed to be ordered, and yeah. that was going to take several days yeah, and then yeah, yeah. time to put it on. So there we were. There we were. Stuck in that story. I'm like, okay, so I guess we're, everything's put on hold. And mm-hmm. we had, um, I had doctor appointments and Dental dentist appointment. appointments and things. It was just like, well, I guess uh, we're not a making A drum it to ritual. That. Yeah, the drum ritual. Yeah, so we had a lot of things planned in Portland, so scrap all that again like okay stop Mm -hmm. everything's put on hold find find a campground find a campground so we went to um yeah we went to fort stevens which was a gorgeous place to be to be um on on forced vacation Mm -hmm. so we just were like okay you know what gorgeous that's beautiful we'll just chill out wait for a tire to come in wheels to come in and and that's lovely so we had a lovely time of rejuvenation and it was it was good. We just yeah. settled in. We were feeling really, really nice. good really by nice. the by the time this. They ended up seeing us a day earlier yeah, than had nice. planned to yeah. to have the tire or the wheels fixed. So we got in there, got the wheels fixed. It ended up being less expensive than they quoted us, which was really, really good. Nice. Really and nice. the person that helped us was just. It was actually the manager of the store, and he was just beyond helpful and really wanted to see us you know get back on the road in a in a good way so um we're very so grateful we to him uh russell at les, D, les schwab in astoria so if you're, <laughs> you're ever, ever in the if area you're in the area go see him but uh then. so we left and we were like feeling great 
feeling great really we good. were ready yeah. now we're heading to warmer weather we're stopping yep. in portland, portland and then palm springs i was able here we to come. reschedule my dental appointment not the medical one but like that's okay so yep. got that feeling good set some things Woo. up to meet with people again we're like okay here we go here we finally. go yeah. finally warmer and weather then, then all of a sudden i started smelling something and and not just that but um, as we're going up hills, I'm noticing that we're losing power. It's, it's starting to slow down as we're going up these hills and, um, which shouldn't be happening. You know, if you know anything about trucks or cars or anything, when you go up a hill, once it starts getting to a certain RPM, it kicks into kicks overdrive yeah, and then, burr, and then you can go. This was kicking into overdrive and then slowing down losing power, and losing yeah. power. And this wasn't right. We, at first I was like, mm, is this happening? And then, <laughs> we wanted you to know, we kind of pretend it wasn't yeah, happening. Yeah, but, like, but okay. she's like, I think I'm it's smelling okay. something. And yeah. we're noticing every time we're going up a hill, it's starting to lose power. And, it's and it's starting to make noise. And it's now too. starting to make noise. Yeah, and yeah. so, all right, so let's let's see. Let's get this checked out. And then um, the engine light came on. The engine actually. light came on. Yeah, That's what yeah, yeah, yeah. we were so like, oh like, shit. We can't go any further. We can't we're, go any we're further. We're going to destroy this thing. So, so, so we pull start over, make phone calls. Find a place uh, along our path, kind of, kind of along our path. We had to go over into Longview, Washington. Um, but they were very gracious and got us in right away to do yeah, a diagnostic, do a diagnostic. Uh, even though they didn't normally work on vehicles this big this is a big bus you know so it's a little harder you can't just pull into a regular auto shop and say hey can you check this out it's it's not really like that um so we found that out in, in portland there. yeah yeah that's true so we're in there and um they're like okay great we're gonna run a diagnostic and immediately they come back we're like it's the coils and we're like great that's the coils and then they're looking into it and then they look into the carfax report and like actually your coils were replaced not too long ago so we're gonna keep looking because we don't think that's it mm -hmm. and uh they kept looking and kept an looking. hour hour and a half goes by and then they come back and Two they're hours. like then they're like okay so this something's rocking or something i don't even remember all the details they're just like you know it looks like you you got a couple of options i'm like okay um well looks like you need to replace your engine and we're like whoa okay mm -hmm. um and that can be really expensive and i'm just like um and then she's like you know, like $10,000 and my heart just like sank because I was like ready for, okay, I can hear like five grand. I'm like, okay, cool, you know? Mm -hmm. But then it was $10,000 and my heart just was like, holy yeah. shit, that's real. It was. And then it, she it, goes it, on to say like, you know, it's also possible that they could just replace the heads and that would be a cheaper fix. And um, But some, but she also said that some places won't just replace the heads because if the bottom of the engine is is gnarly then replacing the head doesn't really make sense you know so so we're both just trying to process this I'm yeah like, pretty okay, much so we can't drive anywhere yeah. we're um we're stuck she's and she's telling us she's like um you can't really drive with this you know they did a compression check on the engine and when they yeah. did the compression check it actually made it a little bit worse than than it was when we drove in there, you know, because the compression, you know, but, but, uh, but she's like, yeah, you can't really go too far on this, you know? Um, and we were like, well, can you guys work on this? Well, nope, this is a little it's bit too big, too big for too us, big for uh, but I can make a couple of calls around and see, and we're just like, oh, thank you. She makes some calls, finds a truck service that's about you know, maybe 30 minutes away from where we're at, down the and road. And they're telling us that you should be able to drive that far. If it starts making noise, pull over. Pull like, over. well, it made noise when we got here. Yeah. 
Anyway, so we called these people and they're able to get us in on Tuesday uh, for another diagnostic test and because they have to do their own, of course, but um, we've looked up the reviews. They look really awesome. It sounds like they do great service. They mm -hmm. work on exactly what we're, we're dealing with. Yep. So we're feeling really Which is really good because positive. we couldn't even find a place in Portland that would see us that quick. Yeah, it, was it was like, like three, weeks, three weeks to a month out. The well, we only don't know place. how quickly they're going to be able to see us. We're That's just true. We're going to get the diagnostic. So we have no idea at this point what's going on. We don't. We um, luckily found a state campground that's very close um, yes. to where we need to be, and we got ourselves there barely. Uh, we're here. We luckily. stopped at the grocery store, picked up some supplies. We got some food. We, um, ooh, <laughs> hold on, our little thing stopped there. Um, so we uh, got down to 27 degrees last night. We um, luckily, though, have heat. Not from the heater we installed because yeah, that, that quit working. That, that quit working. That's a that, whole other story. That's a whole we won't other get story. into all the details, but it's not working. But luckily, we have a little um, a little space heater, so we've got heat because 27 degrees last night. I mean, it's freaking cold. And and the campsite that we are staying at, um, it's for RVs, so we have electricity <laughs> yeah, and we're water. Good. We're good. And uh, there's hot showers here, so that's really nice. And we have time to make our video. And we have time to make a video, <laughs> and we're plugged in, so we've got the actual space heater plugged in directly to the outlet, so we're not using any of our own source or anything which is really nice you know it is our home works beautifully our home works the great inside we're thrilled with it it's this is, awesome this uh, is this is our home into... this is inside we haven't done a complete reveal yet which we were planning on doing yeah, and again, everything out the window everything yeah we can't at this point we can't really make any plans um, because <laughs> every just... time we do it <laughs> it kind of just goes they shit. take our plans like this and psh, psh, <laughs> it's like actually, that's it. You got other things yep. going on right now. Yep. So, and that's what happens when you l choose to live a lifestyle like we've chosen. You know, it's you really kind of just have to take it as it comes. It's been really a, a, a practice for me, you know, because I have been really working on my reactivity to things. Like, I mean, which has gotten better. I mean, um, a year ago, if you know. I would have a problem, you know, on my cell phone. It was like, uh, you know, it's totally kind of freaking out and going into crisis mode. And, and that kind of reactivity doesn't work well with this type of lifestyle because yeah, things go wrong. And I learned that yeah. on our way back from Delaware with this. Um, yeah. And so... Yeah, that wasn't going to work. No, that wasn't going to work. <laughs> and so it's really been really been helpful for me um, to be able to work on that. I'm not perfect still by any means, but I have recognized what I do need to work on and I have been working on it. And so, and we have, and I have been able to look at the blessings um, that are happening with us too and, and not just the challenges because this has really been a beautiful blessing. We're out here in nature like we really wanted to be um, and we're with each other and we're um, really um, having a wonderful time, actually, considering everything that's been happening. So it's it's nice. I do want to highlight. Um, I just had thoughts, and then they just kind of went away. Um, oh my goodness. Hmm. Um, yeah. Shoot. I don't know. Um, it's gonna come back. Um, Eventually, we will get back to doing sessions. We will get back to doing our drum rituals, yeah, 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 yeah. and um, that is the whole point that's of what the whole point of here. us doing yeah, this, you sure. know. And I'm hoping that, you know, when eventually when we get down south where it's a little warmer, we'll be able to be offering sessions to people like you. You know, if you're wanting a private session from some place that's really lovely. Um, yeah, um, what did I want to highlight? Uh, there was, um, I think I was just talking about the, the blessings that have been so many. Um, shoot, I just really lost my train of thought there, but it was super important. I want to talk about, um, oh, that's what it was. It's just the challenge of, um, of, of, of doing something like this you know it's been a whole life change and I despite all of the challenges that have come up 
um, all of the, the fears that we're having to face, I still feel 100% into what we are doing and I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it, you know, um, there was, there's times where it's just like, wow, did we make a mistake, you know, did I, I have to question things, because of course there's self-doubt, you know, when you do something this big, and it's why a lot of people don't do things this major and this seriously um, challenging, because we love to be in a comfort zone, we love to be where we feel secure, we love to be, um, uh, in our routines and, and, and try to safeguard ourselves against things that happen and that's just not how life works. I mean when we do that we shut ourselves down, we shut our light down, we shut down our inspiration, our creativity and our passion and our purpose. So um, it's really, you know, had us reflecting and, and looking and, and, and you know, like facing our self-doubt and, and just being confident in what we're doing even though we're running into challenges and issues because that's life. Life is challenges and issues and really on the end of the day when it comes down to it, it's an engine, you know? I mean, really, it's not a big deal. It is absolutely not a big deal, but it can send you spinning, you know? It's just like, it really triggers all the things and you know, we've really had to sit with everything that happens. Like we sit with it and we work with it and we look at what it triggers in, in us and, and um, you know, but I, I wouldn't change it. I wouldn't go back. I wouldn't undo anything that we've done despite all of challenges. I feel like we're kind of in this masterclass of uh, facing our fears and limitations and the conditioning and what society tells us a normal life is supposed to look like and what's safe and secure and how, how to do it. You know, we have, really big dreams and um, really uh, so much passion to support people on their grief journey and to, to do these drum rituals and uh -huh. I know uh -huh. we're we're running into some some things but there's great purpose and there's divine timing and everything happens for a reason and I absolutely trust that so I have that solid foundation and understanding of the universe that it's abundant and it's benevolent and there's 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 great meaning and purpose to everything and and I'm just so confident and that's the message I want to bring into this today that you know you you can't safeguard you if you want to live your life if you want to touch that deep place in your heart if you want to really connect to um to your passion to your purpose and what makes your light shine you have to face some shit, you know, you have to face the things that scare you and you have to take some risks and some challenges because it's not safe when you, you know, I think of, uh, uh, was it uh, Frodo Baggins, uh, the Lord of the Rings, you know, when you step out that door, you don't know what you're going to challenge or what you're going to run into or what, what risks or what, what things are going to come across your path. But that you don't let that stop you. So we could have let that stop us. It's like, oh, well, that's our one of our biggest fear. What if the engine goes bad? Well, it did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so here we are, we're dealing with it, you know? Yeah. What if this happens? Well, it did. Okay, so how do we deal with it? You know, yeah. I mean, that's just it. And it, yeah, it's little. I mean, I think about people dealing with health challenges, you know, people getting di cancer diagnosis. So it just happened to some people in my family and the stuff that, that comes around that, that is, terrifying and that's you know that's hard <laughs> an engine is it's not you know it's an engine <laughs> we've got each other we've got our health right now we're we we um we have all you here with us on our journey you know beautiful things are happening so and we um, have our dreams yeah we have our dreams we have our drums <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I want that to be the message that comes out. Like, it's and really yeah, everything shit happens. Does and and one thing that I do want to make perfectly clear is that shit does happen, but it all has been working out really lovely and wonderfully. And um, a lot of the fears that I know I've had have been unsubstantiated. Nothing has come from those. It's yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. you know, my fear, oh my God, what if this happens? This is gonna happen, this is gonna happen. None of that ever happened. It always ends up working out um, um, the way it's supposed to and, and usually in a pretty positive way. Uh, we always end up coming across people who are really kind and beautiful and just like the guy at the tire store i mean he was really lovely it was a really yeah, wonderful yeah, yeah. experience mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. just you know things like that um 
And who knows what the divine timing and the grand plan exactly. is Exactly. this. this and now we're going to have a new engine. We're going to have a new engine. Awesome. And this right? is, you know, the way I'm looking at this is this is keeping us from continuing for a particular reason. You know, yeah, maybe there was something purpose. bad yeah. that yep, was yep. happening in the area that we were traveling to. Mm -hmm. And this is what our guides needed to do to keep us from going there. I mean, our guides, we know, they, they, they're they on it. And they they don't mess around. They do extreme things to get our attention because that's what it takes sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you know. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. So, um, so we've learned to listen to that. So we've kept you here for half an hour. We'll, um, it's been a lot to update because it it's has. been, you know, probably like almost two months since our last update. But wow, and a we complete just, life change it is. since that two months. I mean, we busted our butts to get everything shut down. We closed down one life and put everything into storage and really organized so much and, and then jumped into a new life. And I still, yeah, I feel like we're still in the birthing canal. I think we we're still in some major uh, transition. I mean, the whole thing is going to be transformation and transition, um, but we're definitely still, like, we haven't gotten to to our the ritual part, the drumming stuff that, that we set out to do, but that again, it's, it's all divine timing and we trust it, so mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's been, it's been just we just hit the ground running ever since that last update, we've just been go, go, go and so then when things finally slowed down we were just like, ugh, so we yeah. crashed down and just like, been in recuperating we feel like we're in the the cocoon you know and our wings are trying to develop right now and they're you know but we're still in the gooey phase and we have not <laughs> forgotten about any of you yeah um, we think about you all the time why we're making like, this yeah, video we're so now excited so. To be reaching out finally. so mm -hmm. so we'll 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 know that we're kind of settled in and we've kind of landed yeah we're, and i don't know what that means right and now, continue but. to follow us on instagram yeah, for, there, for, for timelier updates on what, yeah, yeah, what's yeah. happening yeah, for it's those just, of you who aren't there it is check uh, us out. because it is easier for us to just kind of do smaller updates on instagram yeah we don't so. need the whole internet situation so yeah. much like 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 with this but mm -hmm. anyway enough of that yeah. so thank you so much for, following. for following and us. um we're so grateful so for grateful. for your presence and your support and for watching and for following and um, and for your your thoughts and your, your, thoughts, your cares your love. and yeah we send thank so you. much love back to you we hold you in our hearts with so much gratitude mm -hmm. and appreciation and um yeah, thanks. It's exciting to share with you um, what you're supporting and, mm -hmm. and what 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 we're up to. So thanks, thank, thank you. you, and um, prayers for our engine. Yeah, <laughs> prayers for our engine, and um, yes, stay in touch. You can contact Bye. us through Instagram. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bye all. Bye.